Hello, YouTube family. Welcome back to the Satina Country Cottage. If you are visiting my channel for the first time, welcome. My name is Rosalie, and I hope you enjoy my 2018 fall home tour. I would like to give a special thank you to VHC Brands for providing some of the beautiful products that will be featured in today's video, which by no means is going to be short, so grab a snack and your favorite beverage and let's get started. So here in my entryway, I have placed my white distress two-tier tray that I picked up at Hobby Lobby last year. I love sunflowers, they are my favorite, so I just have a primitive sign tucked in at the top level here with some small faux pumpkins and nestled in between all of the pit berry and my antique bobbins are some very large sunflowers. And I also have tucked in in an extra small crock in the back which you cannot see. I have some dried rose hips which smell like clove and cinnamon and orange and when people enter in my home that is the first um, scent that they smell which makes of course the home just feel like autumn and I just love that so that's a little trick that you can do to just tuck in some fragrance that doesn't necessarily have to be seen but it will be definitely enjoyed and smelled um, when people enter your home. I absolutely love my brand new um, lamp shades which are black and tan. They are not the um, more popular buffalo check that everybody loves and is sold everywhere. I picked those up on Amazon. That hayride sign I picked up this year at Kirkland's and then I just placed an acorn wreath in my six pane vintage window. There are my three vintage bean crocs that I love to display in those three small cubbies. And I thought just to add to my entryway for this season, a small child antique chair, which I set a small pillow that fit perfectly with a fabric pumpkin that is just placed on an antique doily. I love the way um, my entryway just welcomes everybody in to the autumn season and I just love the way it turns out. I kept my color palette this year very neutral with just pops of color. Usually I tend to over decorate for fall because it is my favorite season but this year I wanted to make more of a less is more statement in my home and just keep everything simple and understated but you can definitely tell when you come into my home what season we are celebrating at the moment. Here is my entertainment center, which I also kept really simple. I just placed at the two um, top shelves there some white pumpkins in between a orange pit berry small wreath. And then in my antique box above the television, I just placed some fall floral picks that just kind of look like they're overgrowing. And for your viewing pleasure, I went ahead and popped in our fireplace DVD. We often put this on during the holiday season just to add some extra coziness to our home. And I absolutely love it. So we usually have that on the television and some music in the background of our home pretty much any day of the holiday season. I love my vintage books as you could see and here are some black and tan check valances that I have throughout the common living area of my home that match 
my two lampshades. So it kind of ties everything in. And if you saw my last home tour, you would notice a change in this room. We did get rid of the chocolate brown love seat that matches the sofa that we still have, but I really wanted to incorporate some wingback chairs. So I finally, after a couple of years of searching on OfferUp and Craigslist, I actually found some wingback chairs that I thought would fit seamlessly with the look that I'm going for and I need to get some cute pillows to just add to those chairs, but for right now it looks fine. I went ahead and put in the middle of them my maple antique dough box table. I thought it fit really well in between the two, and so we have this large open space, which right now my children are loving just to have open space that they could just play toys and read books and have movie night. Here is a different view in my family room. I absolutely love this gorgeous quilt that is on my blanket ladder and the throw on my sofa. They are both from BHC Brands as well as, again, that black and tan pattern on the two throw pillows on my sofa. And I still have up my two tobacco baskets and in the middle of them I have a framed photo of Faith and Hope and I did purchase those two at Hobby Lobby. So as you could see, I definitely have a neutral palette. The Thankful Pillow, I believe I got a year or two ago also at Hobby Lobby. And here on this side of the family room, I absolutely love styling and staging this small area in my home. My husband built me this faux mantle a few months ago and I absolutely love it. I love how it fills this small wall here. And up above, I have hung this Billy Jacobs artwork which I picked up this year at Kirkland's and it is called Blessed Assurance. Give me a thumbs up if you love this hymn as much as I do. The two wall sconces I picked up on Amazon. And Billy Jacobs, he is a folk artist, primitive style artist, um, and he names all of his portraits or landscape artwork and I just absolutely love his work. You, um, everybody out there who loves country primitive as much as I do will probably be familiar with his work and there's how he signs most of his work with naming the photo and then his signature at the bottom. I hope Kirkland's continues to sell his wonderful creations because I would pick all of them up for every season. <laughs> and set atop the mantle, I just put some cream pumpkins with some acorn picks and a couple of crocs and this garland I have had for many years. I believe I picked that up at, on eBay. And then just sat below I that galvanized bucket I picked up at Hobby Lobby. The floral is from Joann's. The chair is from an antique shop. The number five pillow is from Amazon. And the basket is from Marshalls. And I just love the way this vignette just turned out. I just think it screams autumn. And it makes the space just feel so warm, cozy, and inviting.
Now I'm gonna take you into my kitchen. I love this three knob peg rail, if you will, that my husband just built for me to hang my tea towels. He went ahead and painted it in flat black and I went ahead and distressed it and I just love how it looks. I might have him build me another one for the opposite side of my kitchen counter so I can hang some cutting boards on there. I think that will look adorable. I switched out my bakery sign for a harvest sign from the same um, artist that I usually buy lots of my signs from throughout my home. And on top of my noodle board, I just put a couple of muffins there, which are real. Um, the candy apples are faux, and I purchased them from an Etsy shop. I have a little Ray Dunn mug there. By no means am I a Ray Dunn collector, but I saw about four of them at Marshall's, and I picked them up. Here are three of my fabric pumpkins that I purchased from an Etsy shop that I love. I featured them on one of my posts on Instagram. And if you all are not following me on Instagram, I would love for you to join my Instagram family. You can find me under Satina Country Cottage and see all the home decor posts that I put up there, along with a couple of lifestyle posts of my children that I have sprinkled in my feed. I love this apple cider jug sign, which also could be hung, but I just placed it on my countertop. And here is a primitive cubby that I just sprinkled some faux pumpkins and set some vintage crocs on top of. And on the opposite counter, I have placed my Amish countertop pie safe, which I just decorated real simple this year. On top is my pecan pie recipe plate that I have displayed and I have those um, cream and orange measuring cups that I have nestled some moss in to give that graduated effect and I placed a fabric pumpkin on top. Those ceramic cream pumpkins are actually salt and pepper shakers that I found a couple weeks ago at Marshall's. And inside the pie safe just kept it really simple. That empty um, ball glass should have cinnamon sticks in it. I have rose sips and small acorns and a faux pie at the bottom. And here I have just my hand soap. Um, it is called Orange Harvest. I'm sorry if it's a little blurry. I did pick that up this year at Kirkland's. It smells divine and like autumn and fall. And just a pleasure to use in the kitchen. I hope you could still find that at your local Kirkland's. I picked up the last one in my local Kirkland's. Those things seem to be hot commodities and seem to just fly out the door there. And here I still have my three glass canisters, but I did add my copper measuring cups in there just to scoop everything out easily and I thought the copper just added to the autumn feel. I placed some wicker pumpkins there and I still have my three little piggies that remind me of my children in that tray and set atop my refrigerator is just this small vignette that I thought I would share with you all. I love that pumpkins and gourds sign. Here is a look into my breakfast nook which we often have a lot of meals at this smaller table. We're a family of five but for some reason, it's just so cozy in this little nook that we tend to eat most of our meals here. And if you saw my last home tour, I did not have these window treatments up. Um, I did have the wood faux blinds up, which you can't see right now. Sorry for the lighting. Um, but I did add the same valances that I have throughout this common living space. And I had these wood shutters in mind. And I shared it with my husband. And 
my hubby, I'm gonna brag about him a little bit here, my hubby could build and fix literally anything. So I just kind of share with him the ideas that I have and he makes, he makes them come to life for me. So he built these for me. They are painted in the same antique white by Sherwin Williams that the kitchen cabinets are painted in. So I thought it just kind of married the two spaces together because there is a little separation between the kitchen and this breakfast nook. So it just marries everything really great together and makes everything flow better. And they do open up like accordion style. So if I wanted more light in or just a better view of the backyard, I can do that. And on my light fixture, I just have a simple Pitberry garland that I found at Hobby Lobby and it wasn't as dense as I would have liked it. So I just incorporated some autumn picks and intertwined it in the Pitberry garland so it just looked more full and I liked the end result better. I love the scalloped tablecloth, which of course is black and tan, that matches the valances, and that is also by VHC Brands. I've had that tablecloth for a couple years now and I just love using it. It's the perfect size for that small table. Here is my coffee station. On the top shelf, I have this apple cider canister and on the bottom is a pumpkin spice canister. I got both of those last year at Hobby Lobby, but they do have them again this year. I have my two primitive crow plates and more fabric pumpkins and cream pumpkins and also displaying my vintage muffin tins and graters. And I just love this pumpkin mold arrow hanging sign. You can change those signs throughout every season, so I love having that option. Let's move in now to my dining area. One of the first spaces that I decorate when I change out for every season are these hanging herb boxes. I absolutely love decorating them they're just so simple to just throw some floral picks and cream pumpkins my mantle this year i kept very simple and just kept my staples which are crocs jugs vintage books tons of pumpkins and gourds there is my small tea towel ladder that my husband built me. He also built this mantle for me. That was one of the first projects he did when we first moved in five years ago. And then of course it's all centered around this gorgeous heirloom pumpkin seeds sign from my favorite folk artist in Northern California. Let me walk you over here to my hutch. I love displaying my pewter collection and in the goblets here are just some bowl fillers which I kind of stood up um, in moss. I filled the goblets with moss and I just stood up these little fabric pumpkins. Love the harvest time sign up above. I picked that up on eBay. And these cream plates I hauled a few videos back. I actually found those at Goodwill. Here are some fixings in these glass canisters that I also found at an antique store. And I just absolutely love bowl fillers. These fabric bowl filler balls are also from VHC Brands. And they're just nestled in a footed pewter bowl. And this year, I kept my dining room table really simple. Um, we use this when company comes over. It seats 10, but right now we usually have it just set for six. And I just put um, a dough bowl on the table filled with dried 
rose hips that smell again like orange and cinnamon and clove and one single cream pumpkin and both of that both of um, my pewter candlesticks on either side of the dough bowl on top of a lover's knot um, runner. Here's a different view into my kitchen and family room. As you could see, a very open floor plan. I love it though. With small children, it's good to just always have your eye on them. Here is three of these grocery autumn cans that I picked up from an Etsy shop. Absolutely love how they look hanging there on my hanging scale. And aren't these crow jute placemats adorable? They just scream autumn. I didn't want to set a plate on top of them so you all could see the little crow there set in the middle. And these chair pads are also um, new. I picked those up for my Americana decor actually and they are from BHC Brands. I thought you might enjoy a peek into my master bedroom to see how you can decorate other spaces in your home for the fall season. All these gorgeous textiles are from VHC Brands and if you're not familiar with this company, they are a family owned business that specialize in gorgeous textiles that you can incorporate into any nook or cranny in your home to achieve that country primitive farmhouse look. Not to mention the high quality craftsmanship of all of their products. I just love this company. My bedroom set is from their Heritage Farms collection and with these rich, deep, warm colors, how can anybody deny that this is just the perfect bedroom set for the autumn season? And in this collection, you can choose from three different options of a crow, sheep, or stars. And obviously, I chose um, the crow pattern and I am so glad I did because I think anything with a crow on it just screams country primitive. And I also chose this Faith Accent Pillow but they have a wide variety of different throws and pillows that you can mix and match within all of their collections. And the valance and bed skirt and rugs, they're all from VHC Brands. The rugs I had up for my Americana decor but I thought that the colors were so deep and rich that they still worked with this collection. So that's what I love about this company that you don't have to buy like just a complete collection to make the look that you want to achieve work. You can mix and match many of their products from different collections because a lot of their colors are still in the same palette so it just all blends seamlessly from season to season so I love that and as you could see I collect vintage suitcases I love vintage suitcases in bedrooms my children also have some that match their bedrooms and on the side of the bed here I, is my vintage washstand, which we use as a small dresser. And of course I had to incorporate some false graph folk art. It, this is a water basin and a water pitcher. And I put some vintage books with, of course, another white pumpkin. And here is my primitive stitchery of the Lord's Prayer that I hauled some videos back from one of my favorite country stores that sadly have closed. I absolutely love the way that my bedroom turned out. Thank you so much for visiting the Satina Country Cottage. Until the next video, I wish you abundant autumn blessings. And I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.